Hello guys, Lucky Jake here. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this is my third day in this quarantine facility. And for today, we will be talking about why is the ship is using 6,600 volts and not just 440. So come and join me. Ships are getting bigger and bigger nowadays. The bigger the ship, the more profit will be generated to the company because they can transport more cargoes or whatever kind of shipments they are having. But having a bigger vessel only means that the machineries are also getting bigger. The power consumption will also get affected. In fact, I already sailed in a vessel which can carry 1,707 reefers. Imagine that, a full capacity that is already approximately 6 megawatts for the reefers alone. Not to mention the thrusters, the size of the main engine, pumps, cranes, and electric motors. Generating more income only means that you need to lower the cost. One of the ship's owner's solution is to use a high voltage system. But how they can save more money in building such complex system? Here is the reason. In marine electricity, anything that is above 1000 volts is considered as high voltage, while lower than that is considered as a low voltage. It is different from the classification on land which you will have a medium voltage. I only sailed in a ship which are having 440 volts 3 phase 60 hertz and the one with 6600 high voltage system but typical marine high voltage systems operate usually at 3.3 kilovolts 6.6 kilovolts or 10 kilovolts the higher the load you will have in a vessel the higher ampacity you will need in your conductors or wires that means the required diameter for the wires will also get bigger the ratings on the circuit breakers, fuses, contactors, bus bars, and other electrical components will also increase in order to accommodate such high loads. That means these are additional expense for the owners. Let us assume a ship generating 12 megawatts of power at 440 volts from four diesel generating sets of 3 megawatts with a good power factor of 0.8. Each generator feeder cable and circuit breaker has to handle a full load current of using the formula current is equal to the power over the number of phase times voltage times the power factor with the 3 megawatts divided by square root of 3 multiplied by voltage of 440 times the power factor you will have a huge amount of current of 4920.59 amperes imagine the size of conductors and breakers rating for this huge amount of current let us now compare it using 6600 volts using the same formula you will have a, a current of 328 amperes only that is 15 times lower than that of using 440 volts so that's the reason why the ship's owner are using high voltage system with their vessels nowadays. Let us not talk about the power loss as this vlog might get too boring. In short, high voltage is more cost effective and less power loss. Please don't forget to leave your comments below on what you can say about this video and for the future topics you want me to tackle while I am on board. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates. See you on my next video.